What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Brandon Novak here, and I want to take a moment to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your day to come embark on this journey with me. And the realization that I've just come to is that there's so much more to life than recovery. And I would be doing a real injustice to myself, but more so to you people, if I just sat on this chair and talked to this camera and said how great recovery is. And don't get me wrong, it is the best thing that has ever, ever, ever happened to me. But that best thing that has ever happened to me has allowed me to an experience a life beyond my wildest dreams. And I know you guys hear that a lot, a life beyond my wildest dreams. But what better way for me to prove that to you than an actual live content, right? And what that content looks like is is allowing you to see how I've been able to bridge the gap from the guy that walked into my 13th treatment center, May 25th, 2015, directly after waking up on life support for seven days, to now a guy who has just celebrated four years of continuous sobriety, May 25th, 2019, and I decided to fly to Switzerland to a 12-step meeting to pick up my four-year medallion. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fly to Barcelona, Spain, and I'm gonna return back to my true passion, the thing that gave me purpose and actually provided the same feeling and sensation that drugs did at a later age, which was skateboarding, right? Skateboarding made me feel like I was worth something. It, 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 it provided me the sense of like, I am somebody. You know, all these delusional things that drugs and alcohol did for me then, skateboarding did for me at a young age. Um, and now I'm gonna return back to that and I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me to Barcelona as I film like a legit skate park. Um, you know, I'm gonna take you guys to the gym with me where I work out five days a week. I have a personal trainer three days a week. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me of, of celebrating one year, October 4th and actually seven more days cigarette free after I had smoked a pack or two of cigarettes for 24 years plus, right? I'm gonna take you on this journey with me of, of now being a, a productive tax paying member of society who owns a home, right? Who, who, who is now a son to his mother, uh, an uncle to my nephew, who I was just uh, afforded the ability to, to, to personally fly him to treatment. And I went with him to a meeting last night and he picked up his 90 day fucking medallion. He's a 19 year old kid. You know, these are the things that my recovery has awarded me the ability to be present for. You know, so it's not fair for me to sit here and say, recovery is great, try it. Why would you try it if you don't know what you get from it? You know, don't ask me how my recovery is doing. Ask my employers, ask my friends, ask my girlfriend, ask the government, ask my bank. I don't owe anyone. I don't lie to anyone. I don't cheat from anyone. I don't steal from anyone. What you see is what you get. And that was not the guy that walked in to my 13th inpatient treatment center four years ago, you know? So please do yourself a favor and, 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 and take a ride with me. It can't hurt. So with all that being said, if you found anything that I've said interesting, entertaining, compelling, attractive, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to my fucking channel. Or we could take it a step further and you can hit the bell icon. And if you go to like 18 million other YouTube blogger channel guys, they're gonna say, hit it here, hit it here, hit it. I don't fucking know where it is, but you probably can find it. Just go to the bell icon, hit it. and. I'm a big fan of interaction with my people, right? Because I wouldn't be here without you. So if you feel like I'm neglecting uh, something that should be talked about or that you feel isn't discussed enough, leave a comment because I'm all about like authenticity and organic content. I hate scripts. I will never do what I'm told. Why? Because I'm an alcoholic. And what that means is that I'm defiant by nature. I hate authority and I'll never, ever, ever fucking conform unless it becomes my idea. So you guys leave some comments, then it'll become my idea, and guess what? Then we'll talk about it. Till then, hit the bell icon here, 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 here. Just fucking hit it.